About 35 kilometers northwest of Athens, you'll find Craft Microbrewery. 20,000 hectoliters of beer were produced last year, and the figure is still rising. Craft Microbrewery currently sells six different beers. Red Ale, Pilsner Beer, Athens Lager, Black Lager, Smoked Lager, and Weiss Beer. The products are sold in 330 ml and 500 milliliter glass bottles. People lo love our idea. There's a lot of people who prefer to experiment with different types of beer. And you have to realize that this is relatively new for Greece. So that gives us a very good uh, avenue for growth. Uh, it's not only variety. I think it's uh, quality and taste of the beer. Uh, our beer is produced in ways that uh, guarantees uh, excellent taste and aroma. We use uh, top quality raw materials, malt, hops we buy from Germany, the Czech Republic, the United States, wherever we can find the best quality we want. Uh, our whole production philosophy is based on quality, so we don't do shortcuts, we don't minimize cost like the big companies do. Uh, our obsession is quality, freshness and taste, and the market appreciates that. The market can uh, tell and they can appreciate and support quality, and that gives us courage and uh, energy to invest in the future. The Cosme line, with a top speed of 6,500 bottles an hour, has been up and running at Craft Microbrewery since 2009. Craft Microbrewery has been a market player for more than the past three years. Everything began a whole lot earlier. We started back in 97 uh, with two, the first and only brewery restaurants. We uh, founded two restaurants, one in downtown Athens in Alexandros Avenue and one in uh, Halandri, a northern suburb, uh, brewing on the premises for the first time. And this was a good way to introduce uh, Greeks to the concept of small-scale brewing and all the advantages related to quality, uh, taste, and so forth. Uh, 2003, after this went very well, so we had some very good foundations, both uh, financial and uh, marketing-wise. Uh, to invest uh, in a brewery facility, an industrial facility, which is here. Uh, this happened in 2003. We entered the, the keg beer market. Uh, and uh, 2008 was the other landmark in our development. We started to uh, invest and we invested in a bottling uh, line system. We are actually in the middle of a 5.5 million euro total investment that aims to introduce bottling and to expand the capacity of the plant for years to come. So we are halfway uh, through this investment plan. Uh, we selected uh, Kronos Cosme, part of the Kronos Group, as our supplier for uh, the main bottling line, and I think we, we made a very good choice. Nowadays, Craft Microbrewery employs 35 people. Eight of them are responsible in the brewery for production and warehousing, and three of them work directly in the bottling hall. The brewery has a total area of 1,200 square meters, of which the bottling hall accounts for 350 square meters. The empty bottles are depalletized by hand after first removing the film. This currently provides a supply of 10,000 bottles an hour, in the rinser, the bottles are treated with sterile water. The filler, a Cosme isoblock, operates pneumatically. When the bottles have been closed, the fill level is inspected. After the bottles have passed through a drying tunnel, they're labelled by a Cosme extra adhesive machine. The non-returnable bottles are dressed in pressure-sensitive body, shoulder and back labels. The bottles are packed in cartons by a Cosme Tri-Combi. It's 
not only in Greece that Kraft Microbrewery is a coveted brand. After our investment about two and a half years ago in bottling, uh, we started some export business, uh, the best of which is in Australia. Uh, we do a, a, a sizable quantity of export in Australia, uh, covering the needs not only of the Greek-Australian uh, community, but uh, also uh, selling in the mainstream Australian beer market. And some of our beers have become very popular in Melbourne, and now we're entering the Sydney market as well. So this looks very promising, uh, and it's a, a big honor for us to sell beer in the other part of the, of the world and uh, succeed, you know, uh, in a very competitive market like beer. 2012 has also been earmarked for expanding the firm's export business still further. The company is aiming to increase its annual beer production output to 50,000 hectolitres. 